coach, you get the midweek wins. Talk about the difference in these two games, though. Yeah, I mean, I think Thursday we, we just had to grind out another win. We, we struggled a little bit offensively, uh, really um, had to really pitch and play good defense. Um, so, again, I think – in last year, those were the type of games that we just couldn't find a way to win. So uh, I was proud of the guys, again, for finding a way, um, and, and we played well enough to win. And then, obviously, last night, offensively, we really had a breakout game. We've been struggling a little bit, swinging the bats the last few games. So, um, you know, spring break, we, we got a lot of work in. We came in early yesterday and, and got some swings in and came back for batting practice. Um, and, you know, just trying to get back into it. You know, the, the best way to get out of a slump is just to hit more. So... Uh, I was just proud of the kids. We worked really hard and then come out and, and knock the ball around the park last night. It was good to see. With the midweek games, a lot of different guys got work than maybe we'd seen on the weekends. Yeah. I mean, just trying to get a lot of guys in the game. I mean, we're, you know, you're, especially the, some of these younger guys still early in the season and trying to get guys appearances on the, on the mound, trying to get guys in the game to swing. Obviously, I was proud of the, you know, everybody that came off the bench last night got hits uh, for the most part. So it was good to see some of those guys. Um, have some success, especially later in the game. The game kind of gets out of hand. Um, you're up by 10 runs, whatever it is, and it's an easy way just to kind of go through the motions and not, you know, not really, not really show up. Uh, but all the guys that, you know, you've been sitting around for six innings too. So, uh, but so I was proud of the guys coming off the bench and, and doing that. So we got a lot of guys in the game yesterday, which is good, and get some more experience for some guys. Julian Balzer gets his first appearance. Like things like that are just important to the development of the kids. So it was good to get a bunch of guys in there and and you know hopefully get us rolling. Vespi got the start Tuesday. You've used him in a variety of different ways so far this season. Yeah, and that was kind of the you know we knew kind of knew that coming into the season that you know he was kind of going to be the Swiss Army knife and just have to be able to do different things um, in whatever situation we needed. So uh, he's obviously closed some games out. He's he's got a start in there. So. Um, you know, it just allows us to, to use him however we need him. And if that is one way one day and, and then two days later we need him for a different role, like um, we, we've kind of prepared him for that. But, you know, again, a guy that has stretched out a little bit, obviously um, has done some stuff at the end of the game in closing. So uh, we feel comfortable using him in any of those situations. Um, and, again, just, you know, kind of that Swiss Army knife role. And, you know, he was, ha he was having to do that the last couple of weeks. you got to make an adjustment mentally to be able to be used in different ways like that if you're him. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, obviously, at the end of the game, you're just trying to, to, to you know, one inning and you're not saving anything and um, you're, you're just throwing everything you got, uh, putting everything into to hopefully 15, 20 pitches. So when you're starting, though, you got to do a little bit different. Uh, you got to be able to manage a little bit different. you got to use multiple pitches. So if you go second time through the order, you, you got to hopefully go to your third pitch a little bit, uh, but be able to keep guys off balance a little more. So definitely a different mindset. Uh, but again, he's been able to, to, to do a bunch of different things last year. He started some games. He, he finished some games. Uh, he'd come in and throw three innings one day. He'd throw one inning. So it's kind of no different than what he did last year other than he just wasn't closing at all last year. So but he's, he's obviously had a couple opportunities for that. So um, and I, I feel like he'll continue to do that all year. The weekend, the Saturday win over Ole Miss, in your career, where does that rank in terms of pitching performances? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever been in a game that's gone 12 innings scoreless. Um, I mean, that's pretty remarkable in this day and age in college baseball. And um, I mean, just so many things. I mean, an error, a walk. I mean, and, and you can score runs without without getting a hit. And um, so it, it's just you just don't see that very often. I mean, it's tough enough to go nine innings without scoring a run, but to go to go uh, 12 innings before somebody scores a run is, I mean, bo both teams just went out there and, and pitched their tails off. And obviously Connor and, and Chase were unbelievable. Um, and it was a really, it was a really cool deal just to watch those guys go out there and compete, especially Connor, obviously, like I talked about his first start, just, I think the nerves and the excitement, and then obviously the, the stomach, the stomach bug in the second start. So um, it was good for him to go out there and just really compete. But he, I mean, obviously pitched the way that we have seen glimpses of all, all year for us. And, um, and then obviously Chase, you know, didn't pitch all fall for us. So we really you know, did, had no idea what we were getting in him. Um, and just to see him over the course of January, February, now into March, just continue to get better and grow and go out there and compete. But that was a, a unbelievable game. Both teams getting after it and uh, really a lot of excitement, a lot of energy. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm proud of our guys for finding a way to win. You look back at the Friday and Sunday starts, how can you help Litch and Hunter build on those performances those are learning moments for yeah them. no doubt and I think Litch just you know again I thought he pitched really well in the first whatever three or four innings he got away with a couple of pitches but um and then you know they just you got to understand that you know, some of the balls that got hit hard were just balls left out up over the plate 
uh, missed, missed uh, opportunities. Um, and a couple of them were really good pitches that just really good hitters did their job. So um, again, I just think that, um, you know, from, from Litch's standpoint is the, the making sure that you understand how important every single pitch is. Um, you know, and Hunter, you know, they, they battled against Hunter. They did a really good job. I mean, um, you know, he wasn't as crisp as he was the week before. But, I mean, there was just times where he just couldn't couldn't strike guys out, and I don't know if it was really his stuff more so than it was just them being tough, tough dudes. Like, they, they were fouling balls off, tough pitches, uh, just trying to make make him, you know, wait till he made a mistake. So he would make good pitches, they'd foul it off, and then all of a sudden he'd make one over the middle of the plate and they were able to, you know, get a base hit or whatever the case is or work a walk. So um, I think just both guys just understanding what, what that grind is like when you face really, really good teams that you got to be locked in and focused every pitch and you got to execute when you got a chance to put people away. Um, we, we always talk about there's no waste pitches. Like we're not trying to just waste a pitcher and elevate, but if you can elevate and execute it, then you get a chance. So stuff like that where you just really have to be locked in every pitch. But um, again, I, I didn't look at it from the weekend and say, man, those two guys didn't throw very well. I thought they threw well. Uh, they just played a really good offensive team and, and they were able to you know make some plays on us that um, – you know, other teams haven't been able to do so far. At the box scores, you'll see that you lost two out of three versus Ole Miss. Mm -hmm. What's beyond the box scores yeah, that I mean, you again, see in your coaches? I, mean, I think from a we, we talk a lot about process over outcome and understanding that um, you know we can't judge ourselves always by the outcome. There's times you know there's been games this year we've won that I haven't been too happy with them that we just haven't played up to the standard that we felt. Um, and I felt this weekend, you know, at least for two and three quarters games, like we played up to our standard um, and one play here or there on Friday, we take two out of three. And so um, I think the losing two out of three, it, it, it really doesn't bother me. Um, I feel like we showed a lot, not only to ourselves, but to the rest of the, of the, of the country, like that, you know, we can play with anybody. Uh, so I think that it was all positive coming out of that. I think, um, you know, clean up a couple of things, um, you know, get that big hit. We worked a lot on that this week, just situational hitting and, um, but I, I, I like where we're at and I thought this weekend was a great, you know, we, we had to judge ourselves. And I think when you judge yourselves against the top five team in the country, uh, we came out grading pretty well. Um, again, we still got stuff to get better at, um, but to do what we did, um, even though we lost two of the games, like I, I'm proud of the guys knowing that, um, you know, we go and do that against that type of team. Um, we got a chance to take two out of three every weekend. And, and um, we go into a regional or super regional type atmosphere at the end of the year, like, those are the type of teams you got to beat, and I think we got a lot of confidence knowing that we can hang with them. It's ten and three. Of course, there's always going to be some guys that are lagging behind where you want them mm -hmm. uh, offensively. Yeah. What's the message to those guys that maybe they're they're not hitting the way they want? Well, I mean, just you just keep working. I mean, this game is about repetition, and it's about putting in the work. And you, you can't just uh, hope to get hits. You, you got to put the time in in the cages. You got to put the time in in mental game and visualization, um, and just working and understanding that. Um, it's not one hit's not going to do it. Um, but one home run's not going to do it. Um, but it's just about going up there and putting together good at bats, trying to put barrels on balls, swinging at good pitches. Um, I think a lot of young guys will try to overdo it and try to hit home runs to feel like they have to get out of slumps, um, or they have to um, go out there and uh, they put so much pressure on themselves, like this. I have to get a hit here. I have to do this here. Um, you know, this is it. Like if I, if I don't get a hit here, I might not play or if I got, you know what I mean? And it's just about going out there and having the, the right mentality of understanding how do I, how do I have a good at bat here? Um, and when you start doing that, you really start being more present um, and, and stop chasing numbers or stop chasing um, the success. That's when end up, you end up having the success. So uh, we just got to spend a lot of time mentally in the mental game and we got to spend a lot of time in the cages and, and just working at practice and, um, and just go out there and have fun. Um, enjoy yourself, compete, enjoy being able to play this game. Um, when you do that, good things will happen. And, and again, I know that guys are going to start. Again, last night was a big step, I think, in the right direction. But we're going. Our, our offense is going to be really good by the end of the year. Um, we just got to keep working and get after it. And some of those guys that haven't been hitting great, they're going to start figuring it out. Situation. Yeah, Mono. Uh, just a lower leg injury. Um, you know, we'll, we'll kind of know more in the next – 12, 24 hours, like how, how bad or how good it is and what the what the prognosis is. So we'll kind of figure that out and see what happens. Not expecting to have him available this weekend? Um, I don't know. It's all up in the air. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. We should, like I said, know today um, with everything going with the doctors and stuff like that and see, see what the, the prognosis is.
weekend now, two home versus North Florida, and then the unusual scheduling of going there. What led to that scheduling? Uh, uh, you know, it was just trying to find open open weekends for those uh, for that for this weekend. Just trying to find teams. I think we had a cancellation at some point, and it was just two of us matched up, and um, you know, obviously both wanting to play at home and financially, and obviously just the comfort of playing at home and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so again, we. Actually, it worked out a four-game series where we played two games here, the game on Sunday, a game at their place, and then we had another cancellation on a midweek game, and just they were the only team that had another opening, so we ended up playing them five times this year. Um, so it's just the way that it worked out um, in trying to you know help each other out and you know not go for a weekend at one place or with the other, but trying to split it up, help us both out by being able to play some games at home and get our own fans involved, but also not having to, to pay to stay overnight and, and do a whole weekend trip. So just from a from that standpoint it just made sense of being them so close and them them needing games us needing games us not being able to find another opponent that we just came together and found a way to work something out back from north florida yeah i mean obviously they played us tough at their place so um you know obviously now we're going against weekend arms so a little bit different from that from that angle um but you know they've always played us tough and so we got to come out ready to go I mean, we got to bring the same energy and and focus and effort that we had against Ole Miss we got to bring that every every weekend we talk about setting the standard and then and then judging ourselves against the standard so that's the standard now uh, if we don't play with that type of energy we don't play with that type of focus and again we talk a lot about playing versus the ball not worrying about who's in the other dugout not worrying about what other jerseys the other guys are wearing um, but, but worrying about us worrying about what we can control um, and so I think this is a great test of that is is can you move on from this last weekend and go out and play the game the way that we played it this weekend and from again from an energy and, and the emotion and, and all that um, all those different um, things that we can control can we go out there this weekend and really do that because a great team show up every weekend no matter who they're playing and so um, it, it's a great test for us to come out and um, you know understand what happened last weekend but understand that, that this is the game of baseball and that we got to show up every single day and uh, be a good challenge for us. The value of high-profile games, then Wednesday at home against Miami. Yeah. That's always a lot of energy from the fan bases yeah. and from the players. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, hopefully it's a great crowd, and, and that will help bring energy for all of us. Um, but uh, obviously playing against quality teams, another rank, another top 25 opponent that we got to play. So um, that's always good. It's always good to play them at home and, and in front of our fans. And, again, a, a, another regional-type team that – uh, we get it measure ourselves against, um, but we got three games before that, that we got to get ready for, and we got to figure out a way to to get three wins before we we get to Miami.